Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com I have Asus EPC901 here with me and uh, some nice stuff from uh, eBay seller called Fido Dido they actually sent me a 8.9 inch touchscreen for the uh, EPC900 and 901 and it's so far looking good, it's like a one millimeter glass panel which we will be putting on top of the screen. Uh, the package contains the panel which has a film cable on it, it's quite long and small and then the controller board and a cable to the panel. The uh, wires were not soldered so this is uh, the this kit is something that uh, uh, you need to solder inside the uh, EPC. So as it wasn't soldered, I have had to actually find out which one, which wire goes to which. And uh, as you can see, I found out that first one is yellow, then red, then orange, and then brown. I've already tested it; it works fine. So that's the way. And the other side is for power, uh, earth, and uh, USB. But we will solder those in in when when the controller is inside the device so let's put those side and let's start doing it and of course the first thing will be taking the battery out we don't want want to keep that there and then start to open the device first thing is to Open the hatch away. Okay, we can see the RAM, Wi-Fi card, and and uh, and the SSD over there. Let's take the SSD away right now. Where is my other screwdriver here? Again, uh, I'm showing how I'm doing this, and it's like in, in many other stuff, there are many other ways to do those these things, but I, I really spent some time on thinking uh, how I want to do it uh, to show you, because I'm, I'm trying to do it so that it, it would be easy as possible for you to do it by yourself. Okay, so then let's open the other screws on the device. I've already opened most of the screws over here, so we will save some time and only open the main ones. But there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 screws around the bottom of the 901. I'll just open them all. Not, not that hard. Just use a small, small screwdriver, and if you can't get them out, use them. When you turn it around, they will come out. And just don't lose them. If you lose one or two, that's okay. But don't lose more. Okay, all the screws on on the bottom sides, side are open. Now let's do the same on the front. First, we have to remove the keyboard. There are th these, uh, let's see if you can see those, really small uh, small things over here which you have to, uh, let's see, you have to push them to the screen side. I am using the S key to make some tension on the keyboard and then push this that way. Then on the center we have one more, and then on the right side. Okay, Let's do that there, and adjust the cam a bit. Then let's disconnect the film cable like that. Put that away, and then. You can see the mouse pad film cable again. Let's open the connector and then take that away. Then there is one, two, three, 
four, five, six screws more. So let's open them. Again, I'm cheating a bit as, as most of the screws are already open to speed up the process a bit. This is the last screw where you need to think do you really want to do this or not because this is the warranty void uh, seal so when you open that your warranty is gone so think 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 and do it okay all the screws should be gone now let's move the screen as back as it goes and then just take it off and this side you need to use a little bit of your fingernail or something uh, soft to get it open this side opens like this and then there's one more connector you need to take out it's uh, over here it's the connector for the for these buttons so let's take that to the left and that's it the keyboard side cover is off and we can see main board the CPU and the GPU and so on there's the Bluetooth module and, and stuff looking good so far so two more screws and then then we can take the motherboard up we actually need to take the motherboard up uh, because there's really not much room on this side and we need to uh, solder the the uh, USB lines on the SSD card so uh, there are some other places but I I wanted to do this uh, a bit easier than the hard way I don't want to cut the the, the controller uh, smaller so I want to use it as it is so let's open one screw over here don't drop the screws and can you see that it's over here there's actually white arrow showing the places so it's quite easy like that okay and then gently start to uh, take it away first this side then helping on the SD card up 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 Oh, sorry, I forgot there's the fun connector over here. Let's take that that away too, like this. And then the speaker connector over here. Let's take that away and bend it outside. Okay, now, now it should be easier. So from the SD card, like here, and microphone plugs, then let's ease it a bit on the VGA out. Okay, that's it. Then let's turn the screen like this and use the foam that was uh, on the package from Fido Dido touch, touch panel. And let's turn the whole thing towards the screen. Please use something soft, soft uh, between the motherboard and the screen so you don't get any scratches to your screen. Then let's move this to the closer and this will be the working position most of the time or actually the other way like this so we, we will have easy access access to the soldering places as you can see there is already one red red cable and this is because I've already soldered that in because I've been testing stuff so we will be using that for our power I will zoom in a bit so you can see it of course I will take pictures for you so you can check my site uh, checkakmobile.com and, uh, and check the pictures for, for for better view of the soldering points for power earth and USB As I have decided to put this uh, controller over here uh, to the place where 
some next version uh, will have a 3G card. I wanted to use the power I found over there and uh, USB is over here. So now comes the hardest part. We actually need to solder two cables uh, to those tiny, tiny soldering places on the on the SD card uh, USB lines over there. Of course, again, I will have a steel pictures at my site for you to check it better, but those are really tiny, so if uh, you can't solder, this might be hard, but uh, if you have done any soldering, it should be easy, and you, you can do it with this uh, kind of 10 15 dollar uh, soldering iron so so it's it's totally possible just takes some nerves to do it because they are small uh, I typically use a small uh, tape uh, tape to solder them so it's easier so just put some tape on the another point and uh, you know to cover it while soldering the other so let's start soldering them Okay, so now I have to be careful. Mm, there's some shadow on my on my soldering iron. Okay, should be okay. This is really not the, not the best best device to solder, but uh, some here at up home I don't have any better tools. Let's gently warm it and keep it steadily there and then check that it holds. Yep. Holds just fine. It's there. It's looking perfect. Some of you may, may need uh, may need uh, some kind of uh, microscopes or such to check the that the weld is okay but my eyesight is so good that I don't need it okay it's holding nicely mm. yep that's it. So these are now the USB lines. Again, I'm going to take a better pictures, pictures for for you to see where they are. And now let's uh, start to uh, mount the mount the uh, controller and uh, cut the cables for better length. Okay, so I have cut the cables the length I want. I leave left some room room so they are not too tidy. So let's start soldering the uh, the controller to to the bo main board. So here's the plus five I'm using, and let's solder that to the second on the, from the top. I want to solder it this way, you can solder it the other way if you want. I'm using this small, I don't know what's that called in English, but this thingy over here and it keeps it steadily in place. And you have to have something between the board board and the uh, controller so you don't drop any, any soldering there so oh man my stuff is not good looking let's cut it a bit so so let's warm warm it a bit and then just stick some stuff there now it's good now warm enough but not too warm that's there let's keep there check that it looks good from the other side yep and then the second lead will be 
mains or earth whatever you want to call it again let's put that to the other side check that there's no contact let's put this there to keep it steady there you may have better tools than I I have here but this this is just to show how you can do it with without any kind of professional tools on it's not that nicely there just let's adjust it a bit now it's better looking I want 90 degrees not 70 okay again let's warm it and give it some stuff okay. that's it and then the USB lines I have to actually check which one is which because they're the same color okay so the one that's closer to the to the connector is this one this one and uh, let's check again here So closer to connector is positive. So we need to put that on next. Ninety degrees angle there. Let's not bend them too much. There. Let's check it's looking good. Yeah. Not touching the black one. And then again use this to keep it steady. And use the iron to warm it a bit. Oh. The can is a bit on my way, so this soldering is not as easy as usual, but it's getting there. Okay, still looking good. Now I want to put some more on the back, back to keep it even better. don't want it to be loose on the back side either. Okay. Looking good. And then the last one. The negative USB. There you go. Looking good. Yep. Oh, it's going from from way. No, it's better. And it 
that's perfect. And now let's put the put the earth somewhere near. Use, usually I'm using the USB USB uh, places as they typically has nice nice uh, good solid earth. That's it. It's there now. I can't actually see what I'm doing because the cam is on my way. Okay. Everything soldered. Now let's check how we're going to put this there. Um, this way I guess, yeah. Let's move all the cables nicely like this. Let's put, put them so that there can't be any contact on the on the screw holes. You can see the screw holes there, so no contact there, please. Okay, I think it's somewhere like that. Nope. Let's move that the other side that's better more room over there yeah I want to do it this way yep looks good like that I can move those a bit like this first yep that's the way I want to make them and I will be using a velcro tape to keep it in place so let's take the covers away I'm using it just because I might want to take it out again so it's easier for me and I have it here so that's always a good good reason Hold it a bit that way. That way. Looks good. Yep, that's the place. Place I want to have it. And then I'm going to rotate the. Let's zoom a bit. I'm going to rotate the touchscreen cables from this hole. This hole is actually for external uh, antenna for 3G but we don't have 3G here so for now we will use that. Okay so let's put the motherboard back in. Check keep checking that the whole cables are going in nicely yep everything looks just fine like this okay let's take that away and let's get that there and raise this end and put the VGA connector in first, not the, not the SD card side, come on. Okay, VGA out is there, so it practically drops into its place. It's easy. Okay. Now it, it's good time for testing I want to put this one screw in so we have good earth and then let's test the system okay booting it up now to see that see that it works I'm actually just checking the 
that Windows can see a new device. And that's it. Where's my mouse? Here. I don't have a mouse here now, so I have to use the wireless if I can find the find the dongle. Where are you? There. Yep, it can see it, so everything is fine. USB touch controller has been found. It's working. So we can actually just ah, oh, it's not working. Yep, so it's working. Let's shut it down. We don't don't need to do anything else. That let's shut it down nicely with the mouse. So it's working. So the next thing will be opening the screen side and putting the touch touch panel there. So I'm show you how it looks from here, so you can see actually the USB cables from the bottom. That doesn't matter. So let's start opening the opening the uh, screen side. I have to drink some coffee while I'm doing it. Okay. So first thing we need to take these rubber thingies away and let's put them actually I use this touchscreen touchscreen plastic let's put it there because this should not stick that that much on that so gently just raise them a bit so they they are gone don't destroy them just raise and take them out so you can put them back on without adding glue and then down here there's small stickers too again gently raise and that's it there and then let's open the screws six screws oh that's <coughs> that was quite hard black ones oh, they look actually longer than the others maybe they are they are black so you don't need to worry about that okay let's open them all Okay. Then the next thing is to start. Hold on, camera is not nicely there. Start snapping it open with a fingernail like this. Oh, I have to take it to my lap for a sec so I can get get it. So you just move your fingernail or something like a guitar collector or something something soft like this I'm doing like this so you don't break anything okay let's not break it if you are not coming nicely. And there is this small thing over on the bottom which oh don't want to open. So you have to actually press here first from the bottom. Put your fingernail over here and then bend it open. It's quite hard for me to try to show it on a on a video, but I'm trying, trying. 
So like this, and then oh, ay ay ay, come on, no pain, no gain. This it's now open. And the microphones are there. Let's leave them like that. Let's turn this around and we have access to to the screen. Have to adjust the cam so I hope it's good for you too. So Let's leave those there. Can I bend it? Nope, nope, nope. Let's leave it like that then. Okay, so we have the screen. And now the not so nice part. We have to make it absolutely clean. Everything away. So first just gently gently so that there's nothing nothing hard on that making scratches and then just cleaning it fully you may use some some uh, clean stuff stuff but I think I can get it nicely like this it's not that dirty I cleaned it before so let's see let's see yeah, you should make it quite clean because otherwise you, ha you will have permanent dust between the touch panel and and the screen, and that's not nice. Yep, looking good, looking good. Okay, and then let's take the touch screen. We can test it on top of the screen. This touch screen is smaller than the screen frame, which is a good thing because uh, otherwise it wouldn't fit there nicely. So this is fine. Remember, those are those plastic thing is oh man there's some gun don't okay so let's remove the covers from the touch screen the side where you can see that the cables are going and the plastic is goes up so we can we can touch that side doesn't matter because we will soon be touching it a lot I will still clean it a bit because uh, the sticker may may le leave some clue there and it's not that nice to use them so cleaning that too and then opening that I'm checking that it's no dust there no and I'm still gonna clean it because there might be some sticky stuff from the covers so still cleaning don't touch with your fingers you will leave finger marks and they will be permanent and I just did that so this is just a about a millimeter thick glass panel and Looking pretty good. Yep. Move that to the side a bit. As dust go going on here a lot. Now we can actually do some measuring. 
looks really really good good job Fido Dido this is this is looking perfect so far let's center it and look how it's looking it's looking good 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 yep okay I should use the double sided tape to keep it steady there but I'm not gonna do it yet because I want to do some pictures and so on but uh, the way you should do is uh, put some double sided tape not much but uh, but some really uh, as, as uh, thick as possible but soft so that uh, you can place the touch screen nicely nicely there center center it by looking at uh, uh, looking it so that uh, uh, that um, area on the center comes as center as uh, to the screen as possible then it's perfect it's looking good it's let's test it a bit like this Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, then let's bend this film cable a bit so it goes there nicely. As you can see, it's just in the right position so we can roll it. Oh, let's think a bit. Should I roll it? Yeah, I have to roll it this way so I make a 90 degrees turn there. Like this. Okay. Uh, like that. So it will move there nicely when the screen moves. Everything looks good here. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's test it a bit. Yeah, these weird, weird new hinges are a bit difficult to open, but closing is easier. I can see that. Everything goes to their places nicely. Snap, snap, snap. No problems. Fits perfectly. Mm, is everything okay? It's there. Move. You can move, even move it a bit because I didn't glue it. Uh, I didn't use the tape yet. Yep. Yep. Hey, it's looking good. So, should we test it? Okay, now I have booted it up and I already had the software installed. Let's now check what it says. Oh, like you can see, it's totally wrong. The cursor is there when I'm touching here so have to do the calibration okay calibration is done let's see if there's any any settings no sound please yeah. Go away. Working fine. Oh, and it's feeling good. It's still a bit... A bit uh, sticky from the... Oh, cover, but let's... Let's clean it a bit. 
bit it's, it's sticky because there was the covering screen uh, covering plastic on it oops yep no it's not sticky anymore this it's really this is nice soft and really really nice to use with with any anything let's let's immediately oh I don't have a keyboard here let's not go go anywhere okay let's put this everything back in I will still have this one cable cable over there yeah the touchscreen cable I have to put this nicely over there so let's shut it down first Yep. Okay, so the cables are now tidy there. Let's let's put it back together. Remember to check that all the cables are going nicely. Nothing is loose or too close or anything. Just place it on top and it should go quite nicely really check the touch screen cables that it's not not on the way I'm, I'm adjusting it myself here like this with the screwdriver so so it needs to fit inside no it's not nicely no let's take it away just adjust it to as low as the other cables it's not as easy because it's it's a film cable so it moves really really easily should it stay there now come on stay there it's easy to put it there but then in seconds it can move again so let's try this way okay is it okay it's there now are you playing nice no yes, no mm. yep feels good yep it's there then just let's start to put the screws on. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's put this. Oh, my coffee mug over there. Let's put this one first because it's the closest, closest to the cable. So let, I don't want to have the cables stuck between the screws and the housing let's put a few screws on so we can we can check that everything is looking nice yep sorry I'm off count for a bit but I, I need to check check it so carefully so would be stupid to just put it in and then cut the cables. Yep. And the cables are loose. Yes, they should be loose, not not any other way. It's close. Oh, there's some bulk. Press that in. Yep. Let's start to screw everything back on. Yeah, I will pause the cam, so I, I'm just screwing everything back on. Okay, everything is back on. And hey, we have touchscreen working and it's working good and it's, it's actually feeling r really, really good. It's uh, it's like how the it's like really sliding nicely with the finger or or pen. It feels really uh, like uh, tough, but still 
sliding really nicely so I must say this is a really good touchscreen especially I've noticed that uh, that the corners are working as nicely as the other places because uh, with many touchscreens uh, uh, there is problems on the corners and, and upside and so on but this is fine this is really working nicely so if you're not at my site check jkkmobile.com you will find the links links to uh, buying places uh, this is Fido uh, Dido's uh, touch panel I'm, I'm testing and uh, and of course the uh, better resolution pictures to see 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 the uh, how I did everything thank you again for watching next time something else bye